hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be uh, looking at how you can change the status bar that's this status bar right here to uh, uh, basically choice of your I mean you only have two choices like either dark content or light content uh, basically what dark content does is uh, is turn this uh, uh, the status bar into white color and light content uh, makes uh, that status bar turn into dark color okay so let me show you uh, how you can actually do that so I'm gonna go ahead and, and create so I'm gonna basically use this guy this file right here this is an example one of the video that we created downloading asynchronous image from the internet and I'm gonna simply create a class here and this class is gonna be from uh, host uh, it's gonna be called hosting controller okay and uh, we're gonna have a content view uh, that's gonna be accepted in its uh, as a generic parameter okay and then you're gonna inherit this from UI hosting controller and we're gonna say it's gonna be expecting content view where the content view is a view okay it can be any view all right and then uh, we simply override preferred status bar um, style and as you can see you can actually override a whole bunch of things you can override status bar being hidden and stuff like that but we are actually looking for status bar style and we're gonna simply return dark content for example here um, and um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into the scene delegate and uh, in this scene delegate I have a whole bunch of things here so I'm going to say uh, that um, this is actually fine and uh, right here this guy okay so this is where we are setting our root view so we're going to say, instead of saying UI hosting controller, we're going to say we want to use our hosting controller. Okay. And uh, this hosting controller is going to have a root view. And this root view is going to be content view like that. And uh, it's actually going to be the content view because we are setting the content view up right here. Okay. So, and I can actually take all these out so you can see it better. There we go. All right. So now with this change, let's go ahead and run it and see if it actually did anything. Okay. So I think I might be um, understanding the uh, the idea a little bit differently. So let me do light content. I might have thought like you know a different way. Um, there we go all right so yeah so sorry about that guys light content means the uh, uh, the status bar is gonna be white okay and dark content is gonna be status bar um, black okay so uh, what can we do can we change um, actually you know what we can do something very simple here um, if I go here And let's see what happens if we actually change the appearance. Um, uh, appearance, appearance, appearance. Where is the appearance going to be? Maybe dark appearance. Let's take a look. And uh, let's take a look at our file. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. So as you can see, our, um, our status bar is actually white color. And you can see it now. But if um, you change this back into light and uh, go back your status bar is not going to be visible because it's actually white on white all right uh, we can actually even do uh, something like this so we can say edges ignoring safe area all and uh, background color dot black let's try this out and see what happens here 
Okay. So we are getting our Z stacks. Okay, so our Z stack has a frame. All right, uh, that is perfectly okay. Um, we can. Oh, this is our Z stack, right? I think. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, this is where our Z stack is. Yeah. Okay. So, what we can do is uh, we can define a frame. Max width. Max height. Go ahead and run this. And uh, we are getting, and we are actually, okay, so we need to actually set this right here. So our edges take the, take the preference. Okay, well, this is very strange. Um, our status bar should be taking, because we are ignoring all the edges. And, uh, is it because it's not really okay? Let's take a look. All right, so that did not make any difference, uh, but this is what we had before. Um, so yeah, that's that's very strange. There we go. All right, it's just basically the uh, <laughs> the the composition of like you know where you're showing where you're adding your modifier. Okay, so we are applying the background color and then we are actually doing edges ignoring safe area. So that's how it actually is done. Okay, so um, uh, all right, so yeah, this is it. Uh, the, this is how you can actually turn your status bar color to to basically your choice either black or white okay so uh, yeah uh, that's it for uh, this video and uh, I guess uh, I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching